we are talking about really sinister elements. I had phone calls to say, your son is five, do you want him to be six? You're doing this interview anonymously. Why is that? The fear from Asian counsellors. I live in fear for myself and my family. Five weeks ago, Newsnight broadcast claims by Muslim women that Muslim men from within the Labour Party blocked them from becoming local councillors. The charity Muslim Women's Network UK wrote to the Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn demanding an inquiry into what it called systematic misogyny. A month on, more troubling claims have come to light. We're talking about women actually fearing for their lives, saying we were getting harassed, uh, threatened with violence. They're so scared they wouldn't want to go to the police and don't even want to come out publicly to share their experiences. We're calling this Asian woman Zahara. A former Labour councillor, she makes pretty startling allegations about some of her Pakistani heritage former colleagues who are still Labour councillors today. On one occasion, she claims the police gave councillors sexually explicit video footage to watch before making a decision about whether a local club should be shut down. The decision ultimately should have been to close the establishment down because of inappropriate behaviours going on of a sexual nature between young white girls and Asian males that were being shown in the video. I was clearly told to stop questioning by a hand gesture and a nudge by senior male counsellors that were Asian sitting next to me. And why were they doing that? I was told, do you know who it is? It's a very prominent Asian businessman that supports us. It was a regular occurrence. And that is a very serious allegation. I agree, it's very serious, but I think it's just second nature. Disgrace. Zahara also says those same counsellors regularly persuaded Asian women suffering domestic violence to go back to their abusers. They would go to the counsellors and they would be told, no, go back home. This is your lot. This is what happens. I stood up two or three times. Luckily, those women got away because I just persevered. Probably that was my downfall. Newsnight's spoken to 25 Asian women across the UK. All complain of Labour councillors and members of Pakistani heritage who operate clan politics. They say they block vocal independent Asian women like Arud Shah from entering local government or try to get them deselected if they do. In some parts of the UK, like in Oldham where Ms Shah is a Labour councillor, the party's taken over the process. She says that's because they know, in her predominantly Asian ward, there's even resistance from inside the Labour Party to a Muslim women representative. There's Labour Party members who will support my two ward colleagues who are both Asian men, and then when it comes to me, will support anybody but me. And they are members of the local Labour Party. And have you asked why? I know why. I know why. It's because I'm a woman. That is the only issue they have. And anybody who tries to sugarcoat it or present it in any way is just lying, quite frankly. Some of them have, have come out with uh, derogatory comments like, oh, she's a Muslim woman, she's not representing us. And, but they've, they've got to, I um, mean, some of us have, have actually dragged them on side and said, look, hold on a minute, we've got to integrate. It's not a case of a Muslim woman. Where in Islam does it say a female cannot represent us? through all of the attacks, you know, personal attacks about me. Councillor Shah told me influential local Labour members spread rumours that she sleeps around, that she's corrupt, even a money launderer, and brief against her to voters. The regional party supports her, but it's hard to gather the evidence to push through a successful complaint. Stuff was posted through my letterbox, and when I opened it, it was um, a page three, um, a picture of a page three nude model and a picture of my head attached to, to that. Absolutely, That's a yes. tactic often used to dishonour Muslim women and it's happened for decades. You know, pornographic images with my face on. I have not spoken about this before. It is horrific. This is my little Umar. Najma Hafiz was the first Muslim woman on Birmingham Council back in the 80s and 90s. Then the leader of the council. I had phone calls to say, your son is five, do you want him to be six? Do you know who was making those phone calls? Yes, I do. Who was it? It was um, one of my colleagues, so-called, 
and um, unfortunately uh, a member of my own community. 2016 we are still in that position. The only way we will stop it is by exposing this. It do, it's not easy for me to say this against my own community but it is bad practice and we must stop it. Labour has a better record than other parties on getting minorities into government. But women we've spoken to say the party often turns a blind eye when Pakistani heritage members influence the democratic process by packing individual wards with family and friends. One woman said Asian councillors were threatening and scaring my family into getting me to step aside. Another said these men were capable of anything. In the end, I was deselected despite all my commitment to the party. Another ex-councillor explained how she was ousted. One of the local councillors had been recruiting family and friends to deselect me. Zahara claims her deselection was masterminded by some of her fellow councillors because she'd refused to give in to their demands. It became very apparent on the night. These were people I'd never seen before. Why were those people there? They were told to be there by certain senior Asian councillors and to vote in a certain way. They don't know any different. It's generations of people who have done this. There were two or three young Asian males that um, found the courage to ring me up and tell me and said it's an absolute travesty. I sent letters of complaint to the regional office and to the head office of the Labour Party. I was told there was no case to answer. Newsnight seen other complaints from ex-councillors detailing what they claim were selection flaws and misogynistic practices. Most women told us their complaints weren't addressed. Several have since left the party.